welcome back fam welcome back in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to do blender's best animated realistic water material in blender yeah it is in blender all right i said blender already anyways really quickly if you do not follow, want to follow along with this tutorial all you want to do is go over to the description down below there's going to be a link to my patreon go there you'll have access to the uh project file download it and just like that you'll have that realistic animated uh water material shader and blender am i do i keep repeating myself But anyways, let's jump into the video. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is open up Blender. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of our defaults. You could use the cube, but in this case, I am gonna go ahead and use a UV sphere. And we're gonna control two to add some subdivision modifier to that and uh, shade smooth like so. Now, what we're gonna do is head over to our shading tab. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and select this corner right here. We're gonna bring it up slightly like so. And we're gonna switch over to timeline. Let's bring this down more. We don't need it that pressing like that uh we also want to go into our render properties and switch over to cycles and uh, gpu compute we also want to go ahead and add an hdri so we're going to go to our world properties click on this little uh yellow circle on the color environment texture open downloads so i downloaded a hdri from google exr and uh, open that up switch over to render view and we should have this now what you want to do is click on this new material switch over you can rename this to water or realistic water whatever you want to name it we want to get rid of our principal bsdf we're going to shift a we're going to add a transparent bsdf and at the top we're going to add a glass bsdf okay so we should have these two lined up like so we want to we want to add a mix shader so that we could go ahead and connect these two into basically one shader and plug this in onto the surface and as you can see we have glass like so now you want to go ahead and add under this an emission uh shader and in and the add shader you want to plug it into the volume now to get the nice little water ripple effect you want to add a noise texture and you want to add a bump node on front of that noise texture you want to plug in the bump the bump node into the normal on the glass bsdf sh uh, shader and the fact to the height and as you can see if we disconnect this we could see the water ripple effect into uh, our uh, material so let's just plug that back in for now not into the displacement but into the volume and we want to go ahead and start playing around with the colors so again this is where it's fun because you could create an ocean ocean type of material color or you could create like a nice little tropical beach or if you are looking for something more stylized you could go ahead and add some like greenish vibe to it like a like a maybe hunted ocean or lake or lagoon or whatever the case might be whatever you're going for we go ahead and play around with the colors and you'll get that nice little look that you're looking for by the way if you want a link on these little different presets for whether you're going for like a large body uh water body or, or like a like a notion a lake or if you're trying to go for a close-up i'm gonna be having a link that i can send to you so you could download these presets and you don't have to go ahead and play with these uh shaders on your own so if you're interested on that all you got to do is comment down below realistic water and uh, i'll send you a link so you could download download them but anyways, so um, you want to go ahead and make this. Well, in this case, I'm going for like a tropical um, Caribbean beach uh, type look or water. So we're going to go ahead and make this a nice little aqua bluish like this. Uh, for the transparent, I want to go ahead more for like a darker blue like so. On the emission, I also want to go for like a greenish look like a teal. And then for the volume absorption, I want to go more for like a royal blue and then make it a bit darker. And as you can see, it looks like you're in the tropical. It's like a like a like a nice little clear water beach bluish that you would usually see um, in the Caribbean. I say Caribbean because that's where I come from. So uh, but anyway, so once you have this, um, another thing that will add that nice look onto your water is a light pad. 
so you click on light path you add this on top here and then the is shadow array you want to connect it into the fac and as you can see you get that cool thing happening right there look how nice that looks now you go ahead and furthermore play with these with the strength and over here make this maybe like three and as you can see it looks it looks like it's it's deeper in there um so if you play with that again it also depends on what you're trying to render so if you're trying to be down deep in the ocean where you can see like far away then of course you don't you don't want this you, what you would want to do is you would want to bring up the scale because if you could see a large ocean uh then you should be able to see more waves so you would bring the scale up that way you see more waves because it's the scale it's supposed to be larger if you're closer like if you're like a first person view and you're supposed to be in the water and you're looking at right here to put it this way i'm looking right here um you would you would want to go ahead and make this maybe like a five or like a two because you're closer onto the water you're not looking far away um so that's how you would play with that so it would be basically the scale um and again also how shallow how deep it should be um that would be the absorption so just to give you an idea let's go ahead let's see if this would work again i'm just the, the tutorial is pretty much over i just want to give you guys some more insight as to how this what did i do i just want to I, I just want to show you guys how this you know could work in your favor and uh how you could implement this into different type of renders because again you might not be you might not you might be using it for different occasions uh so you might want to play you play with it so let's say that we bring the we bring this down um so right now we have a susan or a monkey head in there so as you can see let's just say that it's somewhat sticking in and and the other part is out so now you go ahead and you play with the ior and as you can see the lower you go the more of it you can see in it so as you can see right there we can see some of it that means the water is not that deep so the higher you go the more it's going to disappear the more it's going to distort so the deeper it is that would also be the case so let's say we bring this down a bit that would also be the case for the absorption so the higher the number the deeper the water should be but then you get rid of those ripple effects so you don't want to go too high so what you would want to do is the ior should give you that same look without it changing the color or the way that the water looks so again you, you could also play with the ior with that and uh, you'll get some nice look but again if i want it to look like it's in the ocean as you can see now it, it looks like the monkey is this super huge shape and it's just in the middle of the ocean um and this would be more visible in a plane rather than a sphere but i'm using a sphere because it's, it gives you that nice little um round edges that i just like how it looks at least so just to preview the uh shader but anyways i don't want to make this video any longer like i said if you want to grab this uh and you don't want to have to go through the process of making it you can go and head over to my patreon um or if you want me to send you different uh presets of this and different for different occasions so like for like a beach for a river for a larger uh type of of, of uh, body water or like a, a smaller scale um just comment down below realistic water and uh, i'll send you a link uh with all the presets as well so if you did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like down below comment what you want to see next uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one peace